Hello everybody, it is I, the JR Pictures, or JR, it doesn't really matter. As you can see, we have another Madman box to unbox for this month of March. Yeah, same old stuff, it's nothing really different about it. We do have a can of Coke here for me to drink because it's past lunchtime and I want to have a drink. But without further ado, as you can see, I've already opened up the box to check what's inside to make sure there's no errors or anything. Everything's in there, so let's pull out. Uh, yeah, let's start off with the first couple of DVDs because we have like about six DVDs in total and one Blu-ray for this month. It's a little disappointing there's no more Blu-rays, but eh, well, we have to deal with that. But first off, on the DVD side, we have the World God Only Knows Ultimate Collection. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, it's been it's an it's a show I've heard a lot of interesting things about. Sort of the idea of a guy who's a really big expert at the um, whole dating sim genre of games, who gets forced into a situation where he actually has to try and pick up girls in real life for supernatural reasons. But yeah, this has all three seasons: seasons one, two, season three, which is called Goddesses, and all four VAs together on about seven discs. It's, yeah, it's got both the English and Japanese dubs with Japanese promos and clean opening and closing animations. So let's open this baby up and see what we got. Obviously, it's quite a big DVD set for what we've got. You know, containing about like seven discs in total. So let's open this guy up and we push these discs into the right place. So yeah, here we have all the various discs of like seasons one, two. So yeah, it's yeah for like seasons one, season two, season three, and then the OVAs. And we'll see what's on the inside for the art. So yeah, just a nice little inside art cover, just completely blank and pink here, but just a nice little piece of character artwork, just showing a bunch of the main characters all together. But yeah, it's a uh, well, it's going to be an interesting show to watch, that's for sure. Alright, next up on our collection of uh, DVDs, we have My Love Story, the complete series. All 24 episodes on 5 discs, with the clean and closing animations, opening and closing animations, whatever. So let's open this thing up. It's one of the uh, recent Sentai film book shows I got a dub. It's took me a lot to come out here, but whatever. But yeah, this is a show I've been really looking forward to watching. I mean, I'm not I'm not really huge on a lot of romance shows, depending on... Well, it kind of really depends on the show itself and how it plays out its romance. But this one, I've heard really, really good things about, because it doesn't try to drag out the well day or road day sort of thing. And they managed to, like, you know, resolve that problem in about three episodes, which is amazing. And I've just heard it's like, a, it's just a really cute show with a lot of great comedy and lovely romance. Yeah, the tagline, love comes in all shapes and sizes. And considering how big our male protagonist is, it's not a lie. So let's open this thing up. Oh, we got, we got this sort of case. I can't be able to um, remove the discs like that, but you know, we've got discs one, two, three, four, and five. <sighs> yeah. I gotta be careful when using this sort of case to make sure I don't scratch away any of the discs when I'm turning them around. But yeah, here we have our main character, Takio, looking all Rambo-like and all very Victorian-like, I think. In these little character portraits, I guess. It's, it's, a, it's a weird choice for inside art for the cover, but... I mean, it's funny. It's definitely amusing. <laughs> but that's about it. Alright, next up, we have Ninja Slayer from Animation. Where do I even begin with this one? Um. So Studio Trigger is a thing, and they've made a lot of things in the past, including Kill the Kill, and recently Kiss Niver, and Space Patrol with Luko, and currently going on right now as the Little Witch Academia TV show. And this is all the other shows they were producing a while ago. And it's, um, it's quite a thing, really. I wouldn't say it's, um, well, it's certainly amazing, and I'd certainly love to recite my death haiku as the Ninja Slayer kills ninjas. I think that just about comes it. But yeah, it's all, um, it's all on two discs. I think it's like twelve episodes um, or so. There's no special features listed on the back here, but it's about to be at least like closing and opening animations. But yeah, slice, dice, and pay the price. Sayonara. Yeah, double civilian. I am Ninja Slayer. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, even the back blur is really hilarious. Alright, let's open this baby up. It's <laughs> with these disc designs. <laughs> Discs 1 and 2. Designed as if they're being done on a rewatchable disc. It's brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, that'll save us some time on looking at the inside art. So yeah, here on the inside art, we just did a picture of the titular, titular, titular ninja slayer, looking all very badass and moody or whatever he does. <laughs> but yes, I'm very much looking forward to watching this show. It's gonna be amazing. So yeah, it's episodes. Yeah, it's 26 episodes in total, but like, oh, how about like? 12 minutes or so each, like they're both half the length of a normal episode. So, that'll be fun to watch. And then next up, we have Show Boy Walk, the Season 1 collection. Uh, I don't really know much to say about this one. I've just heard a lot of really good things about it. Some really solid animation from Studio Bones and just a lot of cute girls being in a rock band together. It, it's pretty simple, I mean. Hopefully the shorts and the season 2 will be out soon after. I don't know how long it's going to be since they only just recently aired. But yeah, let's take a look at this from the inside. It's all 12 episodes with what I presume just closing and opening animation off. Whatever. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of special features on these. So let's open this baby up. Look at the, look at the discs. So yeah, disc 1 and disc 2. And the inside art is just showing off the full lineup of the main characters all together as a band with their guitars and instruments. You know how it is. It's bands! It's bands playing music. It's always nice. And plus, this man has got simul dubbed by Funimation. They were only able to dub like a small portion of the songs, but for this DVD and Blu ray release, they managed to pull together and actually, you know, dub all the songs. Which is going to be really fun to hear, hopefully. And then, next up, we have Bucket and Test, the complete series. Yeah, Bucket and Test. I've actually watched this already back on um, on Anime Lab, so already, it's an enjoyable show, really. It's it's a lot of fun, so I just figured I might as well pick this up so I can own it. Because it really is a fun, hilarious, almost practically hysterical show. It's got both seasons and the OVAs, and with, a sh with a ton of extras. So, yeah, it's pretty much it. It's just a really enjoyable show. It has some sort of grow inducing moments to it in terms of, you know, constant sundue beating up people and being abusive humor and constant perverted jokes, but eh, that's just anime. That's how it is. So yeah, we've got another really packed together case of DVDs. Seasons one, two, and the OVAs. Yeah, that, that, that pretty much does it. And then next up on a show I uh, I can kind of consider, consider similar in certain ways. We have Hug and I, the complete series, or I Don't Have Many Friends. So, yeah, we have, we have this show, which I've also watched on Anime Lab, just like Buck and Test. And it is pretty funny. Like, it is honestly pretty hilarious, and it has those similar hair romantics to it. But at the same time, it's just, yeah, it's pretty hysterical. But it's, yeah, it doesn't really have much of an ending like Buck and Test does either. Though, considering I spoiled myself on how the light novel source ends, I'm kind of glad the anime didn't got that far, so... Well, that's just how it is. So yeah, we have it all on about four discs, which isn't bad. Which isn't bad, really. So we got both seasons, and a ton of extras with commercials, promotional videos, TV spots, opening and closing songs, commentaries from the English cast, and one of the OVA episodes, and TV spots. Yeah. So yeah, disc 1, disc 2, disc 3, and disc 4. And we'll look inside the inside art. Let's see what we got here. So yeah, we just got the little credit blurb for like the DVD collection, just for like all the people who produced it and designed it and all that. And then here we got like a full cut picture of the main cast all together in the club room together, having fun and all that. But yeah, that's that's it for Hugging Out the Complete Series. Yeah, and then last but not least, if I can just get this thing back inside. Our final final set for today, we have for the Blu-ray. Wampo or 
Yeah, Wampo Katan, the game of Laplace. The only Blu-ray we have, the only Blu-ray we have for this month. Kind of disappointingly. But hey, I mean, that's just how it is. I mean, uh, Hug and I and Buck and Tess were gonna be given like um, complete series Blu-rays, but the uh, folks, uh, the Japanese licenses decided against it, so they had to change it to just being DVD only. So yeah, we have the Blu-ray for this series. When Chunty Faces leaves the scene, no one can claim their hands are clean. Ooh, it rhymes. So yeah, it's a um, sort of interesting show I've heard a lot of interesting things about, if I can say that so repetitively. It's just a uh, very curious about, yeah, it's very, it's very much a mystery show with a lot of detective work in it, and grotesque murders, and it's like the, it's sort of loosely based on a series of novels by uh, uh, Wampo Edogawa who has made some really kind of grotesque mystery novels and all that. And yeah, as you can see, it's weird, M.A. And we got all 11 episodes on here. A commentary for episode 6, textless songs, promo video, and commercials. So let's take a look at the disc art, which is pretty plain, if I'm being completely honest. Just, yeah, it's very black. I can't imagine you'd see it very well. And I just need to place. Let's look inside the inside art of the show. Not the cover. And it's just showing off two of the main characters together holding holding a butterfly. And there's a book here. And there's some flowers in the background. I'm sure there's some deep and meaningful symbolism going on here that I won't know about until I watch the show. But I mean, it's nice. It's definitely very nice. And if I could just this game book out. Alright, so that about wraps it up for today's unboxing video. Seven collections or sets together in one. It's, it's one hell of a lineup, I have to tell you. But hey, well, I mean, I've already been run out of shelf space already, so having to fit all this stuff in is going to be a bit of a troublesome task. And I'm not sure what the pieces of losing my There we go. So yeah, here we go. Everything together in one set, holding it all up. I'm definitely going to be giving all of these, well, most of these are large. I will be seeing Hagen and Baka and Test, but I'll definitely give my thoughts about them. And in case you hadn't seen on my social media and all that, I've opened up a blog at thejrpictures.wordpress.com, and I'll be promising to post plenty of more stuff, including me covering the shows here and all the shows I've done, watched, or received in the past, and other stuff going on too. And, well, sometime this week on next, I'll be watching um, Sword of Online or Little Scale in theaters because it's finally coming out on March 9. And I'll definitely give my thoughts on that because, well, it's definitely going to be a very interesting time. And obviously, after that, we got stuff coming up in. Well, we got the next set of stuff coming out in April, which are some things I'm actually pretty excited for. And we also have a silent voice coming to cinemas in April, thanks to my dear, dear old friends at Batman. Because you guys are awesome, and I honestly can't wait to see that either. But without further ado, that pretty much does it for this unboxing video. I'm just gonna take a sip of my coke because I'm tired. And that should just about do it. Until next time guys, cheerio and look forward to me talking about these. <laughs>